I'm Theron Q. Ramacharaka. Somebody once asked me, can I become a psychic vampire? Or do I have to have been born one? Well, that's... <laughs> that's a good one. So I wrote down my answer and kept it. And I'm going to read it to you. It's very short. Take this from an experienced occultist. You can easily become a psychic vampire, yeah. But the karmic, the astral, the mental, and the spiritual price prices are severely high. By way of the faultless laws operating all manifested reality. And the practice is totally condemned. And is revolting to all true occultists. And to all higher beings. Oh, but here's what it will do for you. It will gain you eventually admission admission into the lowest, only the lowest subplanes of the astral world. And they are abhorrent. They are no fun place to end up. No stroll in the park, Janie. And besides, very little relative power comes from it. And absolutely no absolute power. Prana theft is low instant gain at harsh long term cost. Brilliant investment. <laughs> and there's no such thing as having to have been born a psychic vampire to be one. It's easy to learn to do. However, if you've been down that losing road before in some previous incarnations, and you haven't yet fully learned your lesson, you'll have a tendency to pick up with the degenerate practice again in this life. Well, don't be a sucker. <laughs> it's just as easy to learn to tap into limitless prana, which can only be done by non-theft means. It's just as easy to do that as it is to steal prana, which by law remains very limited in quantity. And also, by laws, high and negative consequences, mostly to the sucker. And right now, the human race and the planet cries for positive givers, not negative takers. And by the way, as I was just going through my answer here, <laughs> and I saw, have a tendency to pick up with the degenerate practice again in this life, and it's just as easy to learn to tap into limitless prana. This degenerate thing and just as easy to tap into limitless prana. It reminded me of somebody who works in, let's say, a panty factory. And every state holiday and every federal holiday, they're giving as many panties as they want. You know, as a perk. I <laughs> mean, yet, you get some employee who's caught stealing some panties. <laughs> mm. <laughs>